Mm, what are the x intercepts? I heard some of them. Say them again. Negative 3 and plus or minus 2. Okay, what is its fully factored form? x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 3. Okay, so do you see some connections here between the x-intercepts and its fully factored form? Um, how the plus and minus 2 is a little deceiving, but the x-intercept is negative 3, and the linear factor is x plus 3. Excuse me, it turns out that if we are told what the x-intercepts are, what the zeros are, what the solutions are, those words are all kind of synonymous, then we can build the polynomial from that. So let's look at an example here. If we are <coughs> given these solutions, we need to write the standard form equation of a polynomial um, with these solutions. So if our solutions are positive 2, negative 1, and negative 3, then when we put them into linear factors, we change the signs, okay? Because if we were to set those equal to zero and solve, their signs are going to change. So when we put them into <clears throat> factor form, we change their signs. We want the standard form equation, so we're going to have to multiply this out. Well, if we have three binomials multiplied by each other, we need to kind of pair them up. So I'm going to pair up the last two. I'm going to FOIL those, and then I will multiply it by x minus 2. So x plus 1 times x plus 3 gives us x squared plus 4x plus 3. And I'm setting it up this way because it says to write the standard form equation. So it needs to be an equation form. It needs to be set equal to 0. <coughs> Then I'm going to distribute the x. Remember doing this before spring break. x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x. And then we distribute the negative 2. Minus 2x squared minus 8x minus 6. Okay. Uh, and then we need to combine like terms. x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. And the neat thing about this is that you can graph that in your calculator and find the x-intercepts and check your work. Okay? You can check your work that way. Uh, let's do one more like this. We are told that negative 2, positive 3, and positive 3 are solutions. Now, I know it seems weird that 3 is repeated, um, but that's what we call... Uh, multiplicity. Okay, 3 is a root or a solution or a 0 with multiplicity of 2. Uh, we'll look at the graph of this one after we write its equation to see how that looks on the graph. So, if negative 2 is a solution, then x plus 2 is a factor. If x or if 3 is a solution with multiplicity 2, then we have the factor x minus 3 twice. Okay, same deal. Let's play, really, you can pair these any way you want to. You should get the same answer. Okay, the order really doesn't matter here. Um, I'm just doing it this way. When we multiply x minus 3 times x minus 3, we get x squared minus 6x plus 9. And when we multiply that out, we get x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x <coughs> plus 2x squared minus 12x plus 18. So when we combine like terms, x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 18. Let's look at the graph of this one because it's, un it's important that you understand what this uh, multiple root looks like. 
Okay, x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 18. Okay, when we graph that, uh, the x-intercept at negative 2, the graph of the polynomial or the, this cubic function actually crosses the axis at negative 2. It goes from negative to positive y values at negative 2, but notice over here at positive 3, it doesn't actually cross the axis. It just comes down and it touches and then it remains positive. So that's what happens when we have um, roots that have multiplicity. Uh, if they have even multiplicity, then they're just going to touch the axis. They're not actually going to cross the axis. Um, so that's something you need to keep in the back of your mind. All right, I have one more way that this can be phrased that I want us to look at. Um, if they ask us to write the equation of a polynomial with the zeros, okay, this just changes the way that we express our answer. Okay, the last one said uh, write the standard form equ equation um, that has the solutions. So we set it up like an equation. If they ask us for... Um, the equation of a polynomial that has the zeros, then we're going to set it up like a function. Okay, we're going to write it either, uh, well, I prefer that you write it as f of x equals, okay. If we have a zero of zero, that's just going to be an x in the front of our equation. Ne uh, zero of negative four means our linear factor is x plus four, and uh, with 5, that would be x minus 5. <clears throat> and we do want to multiply this out. So x plus 4 times x minus 5 is x squared minus x minus 20. And distribute that x. So x cubed minus x squared minus 20x. Okay. Uh, and then the question may be phrased, they may write out multiplicity of 2 there in the problem. Um, so let's see what this equation would look like. Okay, so we've got uh, negative 2 is a root, so x plus 2 is a factor. Positive 1 is a root, so x minus 1 is the factor. 0 has a multiplicity of 2. Well, if x gave us... Um, zero as one of the zeros, then x squared is going to give us the multiplicity of two. And then if we have a root of six, then x minus six is our linear factor. Now, we're not really used to seeing things written this way, um, but I'm going to kind of roll with it here. I'm going to FOIL these first two binomials. And I'm going to move that x squared right there. I'm going to move that to the front because I don't like it right there in the middle. x squared plus x minus 2 when we FOIL. And then we've got x minus 6 on the end. I'm going to save the x squared to the for my last step just so I don't have so many powers to deal with. Um, same thing. I'm just distributing it backwards. x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. Distribute the negative 6 minus 6x squared minus 6x plus 12. I want to combine like terms before I distribute that x squared because y distribute more than I actually need to. So my final polynomial is going to look like this. x to the 5th minus 5x to the 4th minus 8x cubed plus 12x squared. Okay? Um, and I should do a quick little check. If this is degree 5, I should have 5 zeros. I've got 1, 2, multiplicity of 2, so that's 4, and then 6 makes 5. Okay? So...